Ladies and gentlemen, lend me your ear while I tell you a story. A story that is based on actual events. All right? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a hero. My daddy. Say hi to daddy. But he's not just any hero, mind you. He's the sort of hero that rises in the midst of darkness. Ah! To battle the forces of evil that came out of nowhere. And the spiral's all like, super scary. And I think there was this huge moth. Yep, there he is. Oh man, boom, whoosh, boom. And daddy was all like, boom, slash. There, all safe and comfy. Was he born a hero? Oh, I think not. He was chosen to protect and provide for those he loves. Is he a little stinky sometimes? No, I mean yes, but it doesn't matter. As long as we're together, smiles are to be had and adventures are to be shared. Plus, Mommy says he's the walking definition of a handsome gentleman. So that's good. Being a hero and a daddy comes with great responsibility. And there are times when he simply must be celebrated. So here's to my hero and all the other daddies out there. May God bless you and give you the happiest Father's Day ever. Good morning, friends. I wanna wish all of our fathers out there a happy Father's Day. And I have a special guest with me today. I have my dad with me today. Hi there. <laughs> it's good to be with you today. And one of my very favorite memories was when my dad would come home. My dad was a pastor and he would come home from being at the church and we would, my brother and sister and I, we would just jump on him and tackle him. And we would say, tickle me, daddy, tickle me. And he would tackle us on the floor and he would tickle us and then we'd want him to stop. But then we would say, tickle me, daddy, tickle me. And so that's one of my favorite memories with my dad. What I love most about being, dad, being a dad is obviously being able to tell dad jokes. Uh, for instance, what makes a joke a dad joke? when it's a parent. Yay! All kidding aside, I really enjoy hearing my children laugh and having fun and just being a kid myself, trying to enjoy those simple pleasures that I've forgotten over the years, um, whether it be just playing tag or hide and seek and how much joy that can bring to someone. Uh, but what I love most about being a dad is the pride I have watching my children when they do the right thing. Um, that could be when they help a friend or, or even a stranger or stand it up to a bully. Uh, it's just enjoyable to, to have that feeling of uh, accomplishment and to see that your child uh, knows the right thing and can do it. My favorite thing about my dad is when he puts me to sleep. <laughs> I like that too. I think that's one of my favorite things about being a dad is bedtime. We get to talk, and we get to snuggle. I love it. And my favorite thing about my dad is what we're doing tonight. We didn't get a father-child camp out this year at the church, so we're doing it in the backyard, and I'm thankful for that. I have great memories of spending time outdoors with my dad, and those are continuing. I love being a dad. I love being a grandpa as well. They call me Papa and it's just music to my ears. And uh, I just love spending time with the family. But also, uh, I had a great dad as well. And uh, what I love about dad is he played pitch and catch with me. He took me rides on the motorcycle and uh, he showed me how to, how to fix things. So, really loved my dad and I miss him now. Well, I know you have lots of memories with your dad or you're still creating your fun memories with your dad today, but 
One last memory I have, um, and actually it's probably the most important. And when I was a child, I was afraid of a lot of things. And my dad gave me a Bible verse and told me to go to the Lord whenever I was afraid. And he gave me the Bible verse, Psalm 56, three, when I'm afraid, I will trust in the Lord. And I keep that verse very close with me, um, even as an adult. And so I thank you, dad, for all that you have done for our family. But um, I want you to go give your dad a big bear hug and tell him that you love him and I want you all to stand up and sing with us this morning. You ready? Give, give me a bear hug. I will. I all right. Will.
stay silent I will not hold back I want to open up And let the things roll out I'm overwhelmed by your love Your faithfulness at all times When my heart was hurting You made things all so right I'm never gonna stop, never gonna stop I wanna shout it out all of our June birthdays. Sorry I missed you at the beginning of the month, but today we celebrate you. This song is for you. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, oh happy birthday to you, and everybody dance. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Three, you ready? One, two, 
three. I depend on God to save me and honor me. He is my mighty rock and my place of safety. Great job, boys and girls. Hey everybody, it's Miss Heidi, and I'm so glad you're joining me this week for another super fun superhero craft. In a minute, I'll be grabbing my sidekick Brecken, and she's gonna help me put this craft together, but I wanna talk to you for a minute about our superheroes and how they go out from week to week, and they're fighting off bad guys and defending good guys, and every once in a while, these superheroes, they get tired and they get weary and they need a place like a fortress, a castle, a home to go to for rest. And that's what Miss Tiffany will be talking to you about this week. She is going to talk to you about how even the humble followers of Jesus need rest. I chose the Incredibles because I thought they're a family. They go out, they fight off the bad guy during the day, and then they come home, they take off their uniform, and they, spend time together and rest and recuperate and then they go out the next day and they just do it again. So I'm going to get started here on the craft, but first I'm going to go grab Brecken. So I will see you all in a minute. I'm going to show you how to do a pool noodle popper. And so what you will need to grab for the pool noodle, pool noodle popper is a pool noodle in the color of whatever superhero you're going to make. Ours is red because we're doing Incredibles. A measuring tape, a bread knife, or something just to cut the pool noodle, a sharpie, scissors, balloons, 12 inch balloons, duct tape in whatever color your superhero represents, and then something to pop out of the poppers, marshmallows or pom-poms. Pom-poms work best, marshmallows can get messy. So let's get started, Brecken. What you wanna do first is measure out three inches of, of pool noodle. So I've got the three inch mark marked. And do you wanna cut it? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and cut along that line, all the way through. Good. So it's going to look something like this. And then we are going to take a balloon. And we'll get rid of this because we don't need it any longer. And we are going to first, don't blow it up, but we're going to tie the balloon. And then I'm going to have Bracken cut along this end, just a little bit off the tip. So So now that we have that tip cut off, we're gonna separate this like this, and you wanna put it, it's gonna go over the pool noodle like this, okay? So stretch that over the pool noodle. Let me get this up. And then what we are going to do next is grab our duct tape. Now you can use one strip of duct tape or you can use two, whatever color your superhero comes in. There you go, very good. And then I'm going to have Brecken draw the Incredibles emblem on there. Um, you can draw anything on there if you want to, but, um, so why don't you start that, drawing it. This is what I have, and you just, we just fill them with the palms. You fill yours or I'll fill it and then <laughs> well that's it guys and I hope you enjoy these poppers, I thought they were really fun. So all of you humble followers of Jesus, I wanna leave you with a verse from Matthew eleven twenty-eight, 28, 
And it says, come all of you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. guys i'm sorry i was just taking a little little rest here for a minute but grab your bibles and let's open up to the book of matthew chapter 11 verse 28 come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. So just like all superheroes, after their long, hard day of fighting off the bad guys and saving all kinds of people, they want to be able to go home and have a secret fortress or a place of solitude where they can rest and recharge for the next day. And so to be a superhero of faith, God wants the same for us. The Bible tells us that we need rest, that we need physical rest, like for nap time or bedtime, but we also need true spiritual rest that we can only find in Jesus. You know, pillows can help rest our bodies, but our true rest can only come from God and he can help us find that rest of the, from the worries and stresses of life. God made us to need rest so that we would find rest in him. If you need some rest from the troubles and the worries of life, bring them before the Lord. He will be your fortress of solitude and he will give you peace. And so right now, I want you to kneel where you are or gather around with your family. You can hold hands whatever you want to do, but we're going to bring our troubles before the Lord today. And maybe you're thinking everything is okay, and that's wonderful. But if there's anything, just like I said earlier that my dad taught me, is that when I was fearful and scared about things, that I will trust in the Lord, and I will come to the Lord for all things. And so let's bow our heads and talk to God right now. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for all these kids and families here today. Um, and we just thank you, Lord, for your word, that it can comfort us, but also it's true. It's truth. And so we thank you for the word that you've given us today, that we can come before you on our knees with our hands lifted high, Lord, that we come to you for rest you didn't create us to go, go, go 24 seven, but to find a time where we can rest and find that true spiritual rest only in you. So we thank you for that today, Lord. Be with all of these kids and families this week, keep them safe and bring them back safely next week. In your name we pray, amen. All right, have a great Father's Day. I'll see you next week. Bye.